My name is Hajo van Bijma and uh, I'm the co-founder of uh, TTC Mobile and we're a social enterprise operating in emerging markets and our focus is um, giving people, citizens in these emerging markets access to information on healthcare, agriculture and, and we work for NGOs and companies and UN and governments. Can you tell me a little bit more about um, what other technologies that are coming up in the emerging markets and what is their impact? When we started back in 2007, um, only about 18% of the populations had access to a mobile phone. And nowadays in 2016, uh, about 85 or 90% of the population in Africa alone has access to a mobile phone. So this has really changed uh, the whole environment of, uh, of a continent. It's, I mean, if you have a bicycle back in 2007, you're just a guy with a bicycle. But nowadays, if you have a mobile phone and a bicycle, you're suddenly a taxi company. So this changed the whole continent instantly with one single piece of technology, and that was the, the cell phone. What are the hottest trends right now in the technology sector? Um, so the, the hottest trends at this moment in emerging markets with regards to technology, and from my perspective, that's always mobile technology, is really focused on, on payments. How are, are people getting money from, uh, from, from them to another person? How are people getting money from, uh, from Europe to, to Africa? Uh, but also really combined with uh, payment structures for healthcare, for insurance. So these are really the, the, the main topics uh, from my perspective. And um, what are the main differences between uh, conducting business here in Western Europe and in the emerging markets, if there are any? Uh, the speed of doing business, um, so even setting up a company takes uh, 10 times more effort uh, in, uh, in a uh, country in Africa than it will do in the Netherlands. Um, and, and also the speed of doing business um, on any other occasion. So you have to be more patient. In the Netherlands it's very bureaucratic, but a lot of these emerging markets are, uh, yeah, are just not uh, used to the pace of, uh, of how we like to do business. But while being more patient, um, you can get the, the best results ever. So there are many more opportunities uh, lying there to be grabbed in emerging markets than there are in Western Europe. So on the other hand, if you do, go ahead and have the patience, then your effort will be, uh, will be uh, rewarded. Okay, one last question about in which economic sectors be it, is um, the, the, the most popping up now, right now in in the emerging markets? So in emerging markets, uh, the, the hottest sector really to focus on our, uh, our, our finance at the moment, but still there are many, many opportunities um, in, in healthcare, although the, most of the players are actually working in healthcare, and, and agriculture is still uh, very big as well, because there's also a business model there where you can involve the, the end user, the farmer, whereas in healthcare, involving the patient in these emerging markets is still very difficult. Um, and, and finance is always a uh, yeah, very disruptive player and especially with the combined with the mobile phone it's uh, yeah, it's uh, a space to watch. Okay, awesome. I think that was it. Thank yeah, you so thank you. much.